What are you doing, Kels? Um, I'm just taking pictures of this uh, six meter home built antenna on a gorilla pod for my dad. Whiskey Delta 6, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Kilo, Foxtrot 7, Echo, Tango, X-Ray, Charlie, November 85, Oregon. Going up to uh, 130. Whiskey Delta 6, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Kilo, Foxtrot 7, Echo, Tango, X-Ray, Charlie, November 85. Okay, we still have somebody here. Uh, try, try five more. Try go up five more. Copy. Always want to listen to make sure we're not interfering. Accurate, sure Whiskey Delta Six Foxtrot Foxtrot. Whiskey Delta Six Foxtrot Foxtrot Kilo Foxtrot Seven Echo Tango X Ray. Name is David. QSL, QSL, David, your call was uh, Kilo Fox 7, Echo, Tango, X-Ray, am I correct? You are correct, and I am Charlie, November 8-5, Charlie, November 8-5, Portland, Oregon. Okay, Charlie, November 8-5, Oregon, okay, I, uh, the name here is Richard, and I'm a Charlie Mike, a 96, uh, here in Madeira, California, QSL. QSL, I copy Charlie uh, Mike 96, Charlie Mike 96. I used to be a fireman in Santa Cruz, so very nice talking to a California station. QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, yeah, Santa Cruz. I, I've been over there doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of work off and on uh, over at the college up there. It's been back up in the mountains there, which is a beautiful place up in there. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Um, just a little station report for you. I'm working a small six meter dipole that I made. Um, I'm at about 1300 feet in the West Hills of Portland, working a Yezu uh, 857 Delta 100 watts. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're doing pretty good with that. Uh, my, my station here is an FT2000 Delta, and I'm running a six element uh, M squared uh, uh, Yagi here, it's only about uh, 20 feet, if it's even, even that at this point here. I'm planning on putting it up on my other tower as soon as I can get a some kind of um, a control box to do it with there and get the thing a little bit higher up there. So, uh, back to you there, uh, I believe it was Dave. Yeah, name here is David. Uh, Richard, I'm looking at you on QRZ uh, with a little bit of envy. You have a beautiful station there and a very nice antenna array. Yeah, I copy that. I'm definitely a stealth operator. We have a very restrictive homeowners association where I'm living, and um, I just put my little handmade uh, dipole up on a uh, pole out in the backyard, and it's it's steadied against my camera <laughs> camera tripod. And luckily, I've got some elevation here. I'm about 1,300 feet in the West Hills of Portland, um, and then I take it down at nighttime. They do not want any antennas up. situation there, but I kind of I kind of like where I'm at here. I've been here long enough. I've been, I see this thing's been up as, since, uh, gosh, 1978, 75, somewhere in that time, and people have gotten kind of used to it, except for the new people that move in. I've only had two people actually come to the door and complain about, uh, about everything, and at that particular time, my dad was on the radio here running full power, uh, talking to a friend in Japan. And I just asked him, I said, do you hear anything on my TV or my radios or anything like that right here? And they, say, and I told, and they said, no. 
I just told him to go back. Well, all right, you go put uh, go put new uh, wire in on your uh, your TV antenna. Any other person, uh, go check your cables out. Uh, make sure everything is grounded, and uh, you won't have that problem. They turned around, and walked off, and I never see them since. Yeah, I understand. They've probably taken a shot over the bow uh, and didn't like the sight of the antenna, but um, I'm looking at your page on QRZ. That's a very nice uh, antenna tower that you have there. Yeah, that's only a little 38-foot uh, crank up, uh, so it's easy to uh, maintain. Of course, you don't see what's down below. Uh, but I've got a carport, uh, which is almost in line of that. Uh, it takes two people to get it down, uh, totally down. One to turn the, uh, the uh, rotor and one to uh, lower the uh, tower at the same time to get it down in between the, uh, the roof and all that there. But uh, it, 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 it's an easy job. Uh, I mean, when it's down, I can reach everything to uh, you know, where I can uh, get it with, with a small one. Oh, I think I might be losing here. The band might be uh, closing a little bit or... Uh, condition changing, but uh, I copied that, uh, Richard. I'm going to wish you 73. Very, very nice talking with you, and um, I will send you one of my QSL cards. Okay, Dave. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll send you one back up that direction there, too, there. Then. Okay, 73. Uh, nice talking to you there. At least somebody that knows the area pretty well. <laughs> okay, 73. WD6 Fox Fox. Kilo Fox 7 Echo Tango X ray. Thanks again, Richard. 73. November 6, Oscar Romeo Bravo, Kilo Foxtrot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, Charlie November 8-5. Uh, Copy Dave, my name here is David as well and um, QSL. Yeah, you're five nine here into uh, Charlie November eight five Portland Oregon. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thanks for busy for a while, and I kind of uh, went away, and now I've got some propagation again. Kilo Foxtrot Seven Echo Tango X Ray from N six O R B Charlie by Gate Seven. Thanks seven three. Thank you, David, and seventy three. All right, well, it's a gorgeous day here in uh, Portland. We actually have the clear blue skies, not a cloud. The sun is out. It's very temperate, about 86 degrees with a nice breeze. Reminds me a lot of California. Absolutely gorgeous. I worked a late shift last night, and I'm spending the uh, morning and early afternoon well building uh, AMP3 kits and um, have my radio going, and I've made... Um, a number of six meter uh, contacts or QSLs which is very exciting more exciting I'm using an antenna that I built myself and that is very very exciting to know that you're making these long distance contacts with an antenna that you built yourself very very satisfying six meters um, I did a video a little while ago it's called the magic band but um, it definitely has long range HF characteristics right now and uh, it's a lot of fun to talk to people. Um, right now, it, the band is open down into California, and um, I've made a couple of contacts earlier this morning in uh, Arizona. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you what this antenna looks like. I'm gonna be taking this antenna and my um, new 817 on the road for our family vacation uh, to the uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. So I'm looking forward to making some uh, contacts um, out on a mobile uh, setting. But let's spin the camera around and let you take a look at the antenna. So you can see right there, that's my camera tripod. And I've got a pole that I got from the great guys at Buddy Pole. But there's my six meter dipole. The antenna is pointed south, southeast and uh, we are making some great contacts down into California. You can probably hear the radio in the background there, so I'm gonna get back at it. It's a lot of fun. 73.